Sí, 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 sí. Friki, 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 friki. No, 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 friki, friki. Conversación. ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? ¿Es bueno? Sí. ¿Todo bien? Todo bien. ¿Todo bien? Todo bien. Todo bien. ¡Eh, hey, mi amor! ¿Yo? Yes. Tu corazón. Yo voy tu corazón. Vamos. ¿Tiene? Tiene. Yo necesito. Yo necesito. Porque la padrina. La padrina. So I feel like low-key Latinas love black guys. I feel like low-key they really do. Now um, I put this video on one of the front of my clips. I think I'll probably chop it up, but I ain't I ain't react. I couldn't find the whole video. Now I got the whole video. You hear me? And I had to bring it to y'all because I always bring everything to y'all. You feel me? Because I rock with y'all like that. If I find it, I'm gonna give it to y'all. I get it, I'm gonna give it to y'all. You feel me? Let's get it. Let's get into this joint. Before before it was a trend, well, I grew, I grew up in a like a pretty much um, all Hispanic school and I was the only Latina in, in my school that would date all the black guys like any black guy that we got whether he was cute or not just because he was black I wanted to date him because I just like black what now what is it about uh, black guys what that is it about uh, like, look at the swag but look how it's just like come on screen just like Ooh. you feel me nobody can't do it like uh, you feel me you see how we doing it you feel me you you we you gotta rock with it. You feel me? Wait, oh, I gotta address one of the comments. Somebody made this comment a long time ago on uh on one of my uh posts when I posted. Y'all can go look at the comment. But I had to address this because I gotta tell you and show you the type of guy I am. You feel me? So I posted a picture. Me and my girl was going to all black party. So y'all can go on the uh community section, look at that. Y'all go look at the comment. Y'all can look at what I responded to, because I'll be responding to y'all sometimes. Feel me? When I get to it, you feel me? But some dude went to the effect of like, look at my girl, look at that evilness in her eyes. She look e innocent, but evil. And she's looking like she's gonna go for another prey, whatever. It was some stuff, uh, a cornball had to write this. Because like any dude with sense want, a dude who don't get no cheeks, write stuff like this. You feel me? Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, why would you go out of your way to write this long passage of garbage? I mean, of like the stuff you said, it, it just sounds like you don't get no cheeks. You feel me? But the whole point of the matter is this. Even if you said it was true, even of whatever you said, she was going to go out and mess with somebody else. Do you understand that I'm a, I, I'm so player. I'm just going to go get another girl. Girl, it's nothing. If my girl was to go cheat on me today. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just have another girl tomorrow. That's just how I roll. Like, I never had a problem getting a female. So, that's how I know this guy don't get females. Because only dudes who don't get females say that. Because you wouldn't say that. If you was in my close group, you would know not to say that to me. Because they know how I get. You feel me? They know I don't even approach women for real. They just come up to me. That's how I, that female you see, she approached me. That's and I'll, I'll just go do it again and again and again. Like it's easy because we I get like that's just something I, I don't have a problem with. But for you to sit up here and make a lame statement, I, I feel like I know you don't get no cheeks. That's why this channel is for you, so you you can f figure out how to get some. You feel me? But hey, let's get back to that ain't for y'all. This just for whoever made that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because it just come on, bro. Uh, that Latinas are attracted to. Like, what is it about them? We just like that chocolate. Oh, yeah, we just it's like that, that dark skin, you know, that mm -hmm. um, black guys are really dominant and like we really, we really like that. Mm, okay. And mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> like the parents of Latinas, which I know a lot of my friends just talk to Latinas, sometimes it can get a little shaky, like the parents ain't really with them. Oh, yes. Explain yes, that yes. to the people that don't know, like how hard that is to get over. Oh gosh, that's a really tricky subject. Um, 
it just depends. Like my abuelita, which is my grandma, um, she always told me, you know, she always told me and like all my cousins, she was like, you guys can bring anybody home, you know, just don't bring a black guy. And what did we all do? All of us brought home black guys. That's how it be though. That's how they be. I'm telling you, cause me and my wife had to get over that barrier at first. You feel what I'm saying? Cause she was like, oh, I don't know what my daddy gonna think and all that. Her dad met me, bro. Her dad loved me, man. Cause she, he saw how I was handling business. I'm doing this, I'm over here. I'm over here making money over here. That way, that way, this way. She like, oh, this dude right here got it going on. You feel me? I like this guy right here. He do love me, bro. Like I'm telling you, but her, no, my wife was so worried about. She, my wife didn't even want to tell him I was black, cause like I could pass for, like a Dominican or a Puerto Rican. I could pass for a lot. You feel me? But I'm black. I'm, I'm like black as hell. You feel me? What I'm saying. Well, I'm not black as hell skin color, but like I'm black, like for real. You feel me? But yeah, she she ain't telling him I was black for the longest. Her mother was the one that exposed it to him that I was black. But he said I kind of figured. But he said I really don't care as long as he treated right. And then. You feel me? We were so worried about he, him. She was. But he met me and was like, yeah, I like this guy. You feel me? Because he really about his business. The mom was the one we had to. Well, I didn't have to. She had to. You feel me? Convince more. But I think she liked me. Now, you feel me? I don't know. But at the end of the day, like, that, that that's like crazy. Y'all, you eventually get over it. In the beginning, to be like, that you a good guy. You treated all the right. They'll, they'll, they'll come to, to, you feel me? come to you feel me y'all know what i'm trying to say like all of us all my cousins are all married to black guys they all have black babies mixed black babies and i was i was like grandma's like favorite and i started bringing black home black guys and she was just like uh i don't know she became more accepting because that was her favorite you know what i mean um so yeah it's it's a hit and miss like um a lot of a lot of hispanic the hispanic culture will like a lot of the parents are very racist um they really don't like i think i feel like low-key they don't want you to be with a black guy simply because they don't want our babies to be dark skin um a lot of us a lot of them want us to keep our our color you know mm. what i mean our babies with our natural color um but i mean there are hispanics that are darker skin but that's why my that's why my um, my grandma always said don't you know if you if you have babies with a black person you know your babies are gonna come out darker skinned you know and we want to keep our family light skinned um, because my family is pretty light you know what I mean that's what my grandma always said but I don't know like I don't have a problem with it I feel like mixed babies are just the cutest thing in the world um, so I definitely wouldn't mind having a mixed baby mm. like you know if I could come across a successful black man like that that's really attractive. Like I'd be all over that. I'd be all over that. I feel like y'all didn't. I, I thought y'all liked the thug. So. Nah. See, a lot of Hispanic women, they they just want. You feel me? See, this is the thing. Like a lot of people think Hispanic women want the black thugs. No, the Hispanic women take the black men that the black women don't want. You feel me? That's why if you hear a lot of Hispanic women talk to, talk about black guys, it's totally different from how. The black women talk about black guys. It's because they dating a different type of black guy. You feel me? They dating a different type uh, of black guy, so they getting a whole different experience. You feel me? So all of them men that's in that's really good men that's in them really beautiful black women inbox that the black woman ignoring the Hispanic women. They taking them. You feel what I'm saying? That's why. Yeah, you hear me? But damn, my homeboy. My homeboy just in me because I got him playing. Because my homeboy like raw at Madden. I'm going to tell y'all a secret. My homeboy raw at Madden. It's off subject. So I got him playing another dude acting like it's me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. Don't. Y'all don't do that. But I'm. Yeah. Y'all are. Y'all are. Not always. Not always. The only reason I say that is because that text message y'all saw coming through. He, he was sending me the Twitch so I can go look at it. That's the reason I said that. Like, it'd be cool if, like, if, if a guy, if a black guy was, like, a mix of, like, like, a thug, but successful at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be kind of, that'd be kind of hot. Like, you don't come across that very often. Hmm. So, black guys need to go to college and do all that shit. Like, they, they need to stop. The thug shit mm -hmm. don't, it, it fizzles off, basically. Like, you're not with it. Yeah, like, that pretty face doesn't last too long. Like, they're, yeah, they're, they're fun for a good time, but, you know, um, you know, I don't know. Like they, they're they're good for a good time, but not for something serious. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, I, I I prefer. I mean, 
I don't know, I can't I can't say I wouldn't because like sometimes, you know, most girls, most Latinas, you know, they can have a successful black man, but they always run back, you know, like they keep those those uh, thugs as a, as a side pieces, you know what I mean? So they can have somebody to call when, you know, when they're with their, with their guy. Mm. Man, so, so let's get into that. Why do girls keep thugs as side pieces when y'all supposed to not like these it's something y'all liking about these thugs i need you yeah I, what is it what what is it that, that what is it yeah, i this, don't know i don't know i think it's just i mean guys are the same way like you can't tell me that guys don't keep options you know what i mean like you can't you can't tell me that well guys i are think you know what, not even think about it well looking at it from a guy's perspective like think about it you can look at the thug as being that fine woman that just don't have nothing. But in the bedroom, she'll give you the goddamn 360 twirl, turn around, jump back, cut, jump through another hoop type joint. You feel me? She'll give you that type experience. You feel what I'm saying? But that's the end of the video. But like, she'll give you that type of experience. And, and like, even though you got that good woman, you would still want to go back to that type joint. You feel me? But I think that's kind of the same effect. You feel me? But hey, man, thank you guys for watching the video, man. But see you guys next video. And hey, be safe out there, Kings. Let's get it, man.